Hello, I'm Emily from Mac Cali Tutoring. Welcome back. This is the second video in our series about shoulder wrists and today we're going to talk about how to put this strange contraption onto your fiddles. Okay, so we disclaimer before we start. There are a lot of different ways to do this and it will get easier every time and you will probably find an easier and quicker way well, hopefully not easier but a quicker way to do this once you get used to it so this is the method for complete beginners or people who are just not quite comfortable with how to handle the fiddle and all the moving parts and not sure what they're doing yet so this is just your good starter level safe way to put your shoulder rest on be prepared the shoulder rest might ping off while you're getting used to it or spontaneously jump onto the floor don't feel disheartened they're a fid fiddly thing <laughs> No pun intended. But you'll get used to it um, and it's normal for there to be a few kind of misfires while you're getting the hang of it. Um, okay, so let's get started. Your shoulder rest, if it's the first time you're using it or if it's been tucked away into a case, may need the legs to be folded up. So mine are already upright. Unfortunately, they don't actually fold flat. But some of them quite often are stored like this. So start by just popping your thumb here and you'll be able to open the legs up so they should both be upright um, kind of like this okay just leave all the settings as they are for now so low fiddle leg uh, low legs sorry and we'll come back to adjusting it in a later video so don't worry about that just now okay each shoulder rest kind of has a wider side so more curved um, like this one or just wider end like this one so the why the more curved side or the wider side is what we're going to go on your shoulder so maybe just get a feel for it just now see how it feels against your shoulder and your collarbone so that's where it's going to sit kind of roughly here um this side is the same side as your chin rest that's a good thing to remember when we're going to put it on in a minute okay so we are going to start by taking your fiddles um, and I'm just going to move back here so that you can see what I'm doing. Bear with me. Okay, so step one, S sit down and sit towards the edge of your chair. Um, make sure you're comfortable. Okay, then I'm going to take your fiddle, strings facing away from you, upside down. We're going to hold it between our legs. Okay. So uh, your legs should fit, or at least some of your legs should fit nicely into this F hole. And now that fiddle is really secure. Um, obviously don't clamp too tightly, but just make sure you've got a good grip of it with your legs. Okay, you now have two hands free to use your shoulder rest um, rather than trying to hold one balance struggling. Okay, so remember we found the side that's gonna go on your shoulder. So that's either the wider side or the more curved side and that is going to go on the side that your chin rest is on um, the same side as your G string just to check in case your chin rest isn't in the standard place okay so we're going to start can you see how each of these feet has got a kind of curved side so like a C shape um, and that will be the same with all shoulder rests so we want that shape to go over the lip, the kind of bottom lip of the fiddle. So we'll start by making sure they're both facing inwards and that the curved side is on the same side as the G-string or the chin rest. And then we're gently going to put one side just next to the chin rest here and slide the other one round. Okay. So I'm just going to turn the sideways for you to see this. So C shape facing inwards, both sides. You can put one. Make sure that the C is sitting nicely around the lip of this fiddle here. And then the same on the other side. So at this point you can pause and make sure that the shoulder rest is actually on the fiddle rather than, so common things that happen, the C's the wrong way around, or it's not actually quite in the right place, and that's when we can get the kind of ping, shoulder rest ping. Okay, 
So once we get to here, then you can slide the shoulder wrist down so that it's about halfway between your leg and the chin rest. And then the other way, about the same. Okay, so for now, we're about this sort of angle, okay? I'm going to pause and bring you back up. Okay, so well done. We should now hopefully all have a shoulder rest that's pretty firmly attached to our fiddles in about this position. Okay, so at this point you might see that some adjustment needs to be done, maybe with um, the width of the legs or the height or you know, some shoulder rests are really obvious with how to adjust them and some make it a little bit trickier. Um, the main thing, remember, is that it feels comfortable there's no discomfort around here and that your neutral position doesn't have to massively change to hold the fiddle. So if you're unsure how to go about adjusting it or find the right position, then stay tuned. Um, the next video of this series will be covering these subjects. So subscribe and keep an eye out and happy practicing in the meantime.